major changes are coming to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The index is being rebalanced at the end of the month. Salesforce.com, Amgen, and Honeywell will be added to the Dow. And after 92 years, ExxonMobil will be removed along with Pfizer and Raytheon. Well, traders tend to follow the S&P 500 more because it's made up of 500 stocks. There are just 30 Dow components. Still, it's a big deal. Let's bring in Tim Bigham with Delta Derivatives. And Tim, hello to you and what are your thoughts? Yeah, and it's, I mean, I think having, a, you know, a stalwart like Exxon exit the Dow certainly says something about uh, the economy changing, you know, Salesforce entering it. So certainly the Dow is becoming more tech laden as we go on, which I guess reflects, you know, where, uh, you know, society is headed as well. But uh, I think uh, going forward, we'll see more of this kind of rotation out of some of the, uh, you know, old names that have been in there seemingly forever into the uh, new up and comers. So look for this con uh, to continue as we uh, go down the road here. Tim, what are your trades of the day? Yeah, looking uh, at a couple of things here, obviously all eyes as both Apple and Tesla uh, do actually split uh, come uh, you know uh, the 31st here. So I think both these stocks got ahead of themselves with everyone pre-positioning for that split. Finally seeing a little weakness in both these names, especially Apple. So Apple's really accounted for about 80% of the up move over the past week or so. If that weakens, I think the market will as well. So I'm a little bit, uh, you know, less than ebullient here at all time highs, putting in some, uh, you know, put protection, buying some volatility, which is at the lowest levels since COVID began. And then seeing unusual option activity in a couple names, EV Everbright continue to buy the September at the money call. So I'm following along buying the stock, selling those expensive calls. Implied volatility is left up, so it will capture some nice uh, option premium. And then PRPL, Purple Innovations, which got hammered post earnings, someone positioning for a bounce. I'm joining them again the same way, buying stock, selling expensive September calls against it. Thank you as always, Tim, and take care. You bet, anytime, and take care. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.